hi i'm here with another video and i kind of just wanted to talk about what is going on with this last week and what happened um in my fitness journey so because we're in the get fit series so um i told you guys how this month i kind of just wanted to focus on losing a certain amount of pounds and that's it no pressure i mean not much pressure <laughs> but you know focusing on just this month and not the year as a whole because once you focus on the year i feel like you kind of lose track you're like oh okay let me go hard and then i still have the whole rest of the year and by the end of the year it's christmas and then you're just eating all the junk and everything so i wanted to share with you guys how this week turned out obviously it's been in the beginning of this fitness journey and I have just been trying to figure out what to do why are my kids you might hear my kids in the background um, <laughs> so I've just been trying to figure out a few things on my journey this week because it's the start of a new week it's my first week doing getting back to it um, and there was just a few things that I wasn't prepared for so one of the things was my protein i wasn't getting enough protein and my carbs were like up here my protein was like here and then my fat was like on point um because you know with macros you focus on protein fat and carbs so that was the struggle this week um, my goal this next week is to focus on protein i wanted to focus on certain snacks that had protein in them and um Okay, give me five minutes, okay? Okay. So, um, I wanted to focus on that more. Um, so I'm gonna share in the next video what my top protein sources are and what I found out over time. Don't forget to subscribe and click that bell for notifications to the next video. Um, I would really appreciate that. So even before this year started, I started meal prepping because I realized that you know, one of the biggest strategies for success is to plan, plan ahead. And honestly, I was doing everything with my kids. I had to plan ahead with them for a lot of things. I had to prep them for school. I had to plan their meals ahead of time. I had to make sure they had everything in order. I had to plan and prepare for their, what they were going to learn in school, go over their ABCs, you know, things like that. And just plan out the times of days when I could do that because now I'm working so I don't have much time to just do those things so I had to plan out my days when am I going to do this when am I going to do that once I get home I need to cook dinner or get dinner ready for them then empty out their bags figure out their lunches what's going in their lunch the next day make sure they have their um, school clothes ready um, all of those things go over school work with them whatever so then I was like well, I need to do that with me. I need to start meal prepping because if I just go throughout the week and I'm like, okay, let me see, what do I want? And by that time, I'm hungry for lunch. So I'm like just grabbing all these snacks that I have at my work and not really nourishing my body with what I need. And so I needed to figure out a way to, because I don't have much time. I only have usually Sundays off that are quick and easy, healthy meals that I can just come up with in a couple hours on su on Sunday usually. Um, I didn't want to spend my whole Sunday off doing that. So I wanted to take like one to two hours out of the day to make these meals and then call it a day. It has changed a lot for me because I was spending a lot of money on lunch and I was snacking a lot more. So now, that has helped a lot. And if I have my cooked meal in the fridge, I'm usually more likely to just grab it and go. And it's much easier to just stick to my meal plan in that way. And I already have it um, entered in my, I, I use my fitness pal because um, I can easily, easily track my macros on there. So I use my fitness pal to figure out what my macros are, where I'm at calorie wise, all of that. Um, so yeah, usually on the weekends is when I kind of get a little more lax with that, but I try to um, do what I can on the weekends. I try to still stay active if I can. Like I'll 
walk on the treadmill for like 30 minutes on the weekend or whatever. Um, so this week, I just took a couple, um, like literally five minutes on Pinterest and typed in meal prep and I love steak. So I decided to do a steak bowl. Um, so let me know down below um, what you like to meal prep. Give me some ideas because I need some. And let me know if you would like a full day of eating. Um, I wouldn't mind doing that. And also, this is my progress so far for this week. Um, and even through the trials and stuff, I know you can't see much of a progress because it's only a couple pounds, but um, I'm still seeing changes. Even through the trials, I'm still figuring things out. Um, I still lost some weight because of these small changes I am making. Um, so it just motivates me to keep going, keep trying new things, keep pushing on, and figuring out work, what works best for me. Hey guys, so I had to um, cut this for a second and just let you guys know what happened to me. So last week I got very, very sick. Um, so I couldn't work out or anything. So for the last like two weeks, I haven't worked out or anything. Um, I was basically in bed for a whole week and just like dying. <laughs> um, but now I'm better. Um, but it's already the end of the month and I lost some weight during that, but um, I wasn't able to like work out and do my normal things and eat normally. So um, yeah, I didn't get down to where I wanted to get to, but I almost got there. I was like two pounds short, so I eventually got down to like 154. So that's not bad. Um, so this next month I'm going to pivot and just start, continue the journey that I was on. So I'm excited. I just wanted to let you guys know that that's what happened at the end of this month. Um, and I wasn't able to do anything for two weeks. So that happens. That's life. And at least I lost some of the weight. And this next month I'll probably take it to um, my goal of trying to be losing like five, five pounds. Um, so yeah. So keep pushing with me and keep that water on hand. And I'm excited to hear about you guys' progress and what you're doing. So peace and love, guys. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Okay, so. Put my steak in the fridge, all seasoned up, ready to go. So I'm just gonna cut it up, put it in the pan, cook it. Um, probably cut it up after. But that is marinating. Also, I just bought this protein pasta, and um, I've been getting the angel hair one. These are so good. It's protein pasta, but it tastes just like pasta and it's made um, from like lentils, flour, lentil flour, wheat flour, pea protein, chickpea flour, all that. Um, but they taste just like regular pasta. So good. And the nutrition on it is two ounces, is one gram of fat, 38 grams of carbs, and 10 grams of protein. And so the protein is better than the protein in the quinoa. Carbs are like 10 grams different. So I was like, let me stick with this one this week and try it. I'm gonna get changed into something cozy because it's cold here, guys. I mean, even though we're in the Bahamas, it's cold. I'm gonna tell you right now what the temperature is here. 68 degrees. Okay, which doesn't seem like it's low, but it is. Yes. Yes. It's gonna get down to like 61, which is crazy. But it's cold, okay? <laughs> okay, so right now I am cooking dinner and then doing my meal prep too. So I'm doing both simultaneously 
I'm trying to get it all done. Um, it is 5 o'clock. I got the pork chops going, the potatoes going, and then I'm going to add some broccoli to it. I have the pasta done. I'm going to add some butter for my meal prep. And I got the steak and, and all the veggies and the meat. Yeah.